you do. Yeah, I love Vegas. I've been hanging out with all the stars, really. Yeah, look what David Copperfield taught me. David Copperfield? Yeah, check this out. <laughs> it's levitation, Davy. <laughs> Oh, very clever. Oh, very clever. You're so amazing. You're so amazing. Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Sam, don't do this. Sam, don't do this. Oh, he always does this. He always does this. He will stop. Eventually. This bit's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. We love Paul Zerden, winner of the 10th season of America's Got Talent. It's bringing to life several different characters all across the country. Yes, yes. the self-described one-man Muppet sitcom <laughs> is going to be performing tonight through <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. What do you call them? Sidekicks, <laughs> friends, <laughs> colleagues? Uh, What's the this relationship? This is my colleague here. This is Sam. Yes, uh, good morning, ladies. How are you? We are well, Sam. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Natalie. You and Carly, so look at this. <laughs> Sex Ladies, oh, I don't stop. All that. Oh. You're gonna make me turn red. I blush really easily. <laughs> I, say, I, I am pink. Look at me. I permanently blush. Look at me. Look at me. Look at this. Great in. Thing. Yeah, I can't believe we're on the morning blend. Yeah. <laughs> So who's um, the bigger celebrity, yeah. Sam or Paul? Because I think people do hey, fall in love with Sam just as do you, much. Do you know what? It's funny. When he goes out, he gets mobbed. You know, when he goes shopping, he has terrible, terrible trouble with crowds and stuff. <laughs> Me, I can go out, I can just, you know, I can just slip out into a crowd and I go unnoticed. And I like the anonymity of it. They always remember him and not me, and that is fine <laughs> by me. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> well, we want to talk about, though, your background and how you get started. I had a little joke about David Copperfield. I grew up loving David Copperfield, and you said you always appreciated magic, uh, and that kind of uh, sparked your interest yeah, into going into this. You love magic, don't you? you look, 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 I'm doing that levitation again. Look, I'm, I'm like that. <laughs> Very <laughs> impressive. Good, Sam. Good. Um, I, I started as a magician, actually. I was a kid magician, and then I became, when I left school, I became one of those annoying, geeky magicians that interrupts you when you're trying to have a dinner for two, a romantic dinner for two, and saying, you know, hello, would you like to pick a card? And people tell you to get lost. And I used to do close-up magic, and then I started doing illusions, and I was, I was really influenced by watching people like David Copperfield, his, his, uh, his magic specials. And so when we got to do the gag on America's Got Talent last year, I went back on as the previous winner, and I did a spot about, did a gag about David there. Uh, I got a friend of mine who, uh, in Vegas, uh, sent me a message a, a screenshot of a message, a text from David to him because he didn't have my number, just saying, Can you tell Paul thanks for the name check? Oh, cool. On AGT, and I thought, Yes, David Copperfield has thanked me via text. I'm ma <laughs> I've made it. <laughs> well, and how has your life changed? Uh, so, you were, tell people where you're from. Um, well, I'm from the suitcase. Um, okay. Where are you from? I, I'm from uh, I'm from London. Okay. And so so I was at home and I was doing I'm making a living and I've worked uh, all over the place doing ventriloquism. But I just decided that one day that I wanted to you know try and get a, a bigger profile and and get a bigger platform. And so that's why I decided to enter America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. That's right. And so yeah, let's let's recap. So it's America's Got Talent. How did it go? Well, I think you know how it went. It started with the first audition was at the Dolby Theatre where the Oscars came. Yeah. From. Yeah. Dolby Theatre. Dolby Theatre, Hollywood. That's right, yeah. Then we got through to the live shows, which come to you from Radio City Music Hall, New York. Radio City, New York. That's right. And then when you win the show, which we did, and we're very fortunate to, you know, it was an amazing thing and very grateful, uh, we then had our own show at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas. Planet Hollywood, Las Vegas. That's right. So let's get this straight. Radio City, New York. <laughs> yes. Uh, what's the next one? Radio City, no. Dolby Theatre, New York. No, Dolby Theatre, Hollywood. Would you oh. get it right? You think I thought I caught you, idiot? Okay, <laughs> so you were saying Dolby Theatre. Dolby Theatre, Hollywood. Yes. Radio City, New York. Yes. Planet Hollywood, Las Vegas. That's right. And now, the morning blend, Tampa Bay. <laughs> right up there. For the best. <laughs> what the hell went wrong? <laughs> that's right, that's not for you. <laughs> so what did you think of Vegas? How was that? Now you're so, touring so and... Vegas was an incredible experience <clears throat> and uh, quite hot. Yeah, <laughs> we're hot. I, we can get hot here. I know you can get hot here. It's a different kind of heat. Yeah. It's a very dry heat in Vegas. Um, Vegas was a, it was an amazing experience to go into your own theatre mm -hmm. and do your own show every night. You've got your crew, and you've got I've got all my all my cast of characters in the show, which I will be introducing uh, audiences to at Side Splitters Comedy Club from tonight <laughs> till Sunday. <laughs> and um, I heard that that was good. That was that was a good plug. Um, so with so um, oh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> we were just asking how Vegas was. And Vegas if you was fantastic. Okay. I liked it a lot. But now you're traveling, so you're here. You're doing a couple stops here in Florida, and I'm, then and then I where love to? Touring. I love. Yeah. I, I genuinely love traveling, and so um, it, it's an opportunity to see, 
you know, places that I would never normally go to. So we're going to uh, West Palm Beach mm -hmm. next week, and then I'm on to Miami. And my, uh, yeah, Miami. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I can't remember now. Um, we're going to Texas. <laughs> we're going to Denver, Colorado. <laughs> you should really have done your homework. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm all over the place. And I get to see some places that I would never normally go. You know, I love traveling, and, and I get paid to travel, so I'm very lucky. Well, we were discussing your colleague here that you brought with us today, yes, but yes. you started talking about new ones that you're going yeah. to be introducing. I can't listen to this. The process, though, oh, real he's quick offended. In closing, I was going to say, offending him. What can people expect in your show while you're touring the country? So um, I've got new material in 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 the show, which is it, it, no show is ever the same. There's a, there's a moment in the show which I'm just going to put this down for a second. I'm just going to uh, do something. This is where I I get a couple <laughs> out of the audience. So I normally get a married couple uh -oh. out of the audience uh -oh. and turn them into my dummies, <laughs> and I put these mouths, which I've had specially designed and they are animatronic so I control them but I don't have to touch them so I'm putting voices into people's heads oh, so I'll give you a, a taster of this so okay. if I just squeeze if you permit me to just uh, just squeeze the back of your neck here sure. so if I do okay. this with you Carly uh -huh. okay so you just open your mouth you open your mouth okay like and open and close it like that every time I touch you just open and close it that like that and then you do the same okay that's great so so I would start with a voice so let's try a let's try a voice for you Carly let's try a let's try a silly voice so what about this one Hello there. <laughs> yes, hello. It's great to be here on the morning blend. And Natalie, what about you? <laughs> oh, yes. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the kind of thing we do. That's awesome. Oh, but we, but we uh, you know, well, I, have, I have these special masks, these prosthetic masks that go over the, the people from the audience and they become my dummies and I get them doing things around the stage and no show is ever the same because people always react differently. And, and it's, um, it's still ventriloquism. It's just trying to do it in a different way. Well, I, have, I use that voice actually <laughs> so he, he, we nailed, he nailed it on the head thank you so much for your time no, unfortunately we have congratulations on everything yes. come back thank anytime you. thank you Lovely okay to be sam here. that goes for yeah, you too i'll see you ladies soon <laughs> all right